。对啊，达能，达能也是这么做的，达能也是在做一些世界上最好的一些做法。好，谢谢。各位来宾，各位同行，大家下午好。谢谢各位的耐心，做到现在聆听我们的演讲。我的题目呢是，依托风险预警平台来完善乳制品的质量和食品安全的监管。所以很高兴有机会跟大家分享一下我们在风险预警这方面的一些体会和经验。那么我的话题简单介绍一下，我们的 first。They are. I will be briefing you on Nestle as a company, the end quality management and integrated quality system in dairy manufacturing and application of early warning system. Dairy. You don't. You you don't know. Nestle is uh, from where? Is from headquarter. It's a. Uh, it was founded in uh, 1866 in Switzerland. We have uh, four. Over 400 factories. The total staff is uh, three. 130,000, they, they almost uh, 600 billion RMB, and 92.2 uh, billion uh, Swiss land uh, franc. The Nestle, our founder's name is uh, Henry Nestle. Why you call it the Nestle? Nestle is a family name, actually. It's for a German working in Switzerland. A lot of kids back then, they, they didn't have enough nutrients, and they didn't have the breastfeeding. There was a high mortality for the infants. So that's why our founder, Henry Nestle, invented this one, save a lot of our kids and infants' lives. From this origin, it showcases that our mission and the culture is seamlessly connected to safety, nutrition, and quality. The current CEO. As a food company, 100 year history, quality is our name of the game. So CEO shares with us a clear information that quality is your higher boss. In other words, whatever your position or your title in the company, you should have a, a respect for quality. We never banned any quality rules. So quality is a part of the blood and a part of our DNA. Then I want to highlight how to do a good job for quality system. We'll be talking about the whole life cycle. Production and processing is only a small part of the whole supply chain. A lot of hazards comes from the upstream or the downstream distribution. So we're talking about the through supply chain whole process quality management system. From farm to fork. For dairy products in China, it's a very sensitive issue, to be frank. Uh, dairy products, similar to other products, we'll be talking about the source, the, so the sourcing quality for dairy products as uh, the uh, product uh, for your integrity. The, the rubbish in, rubbish out. If you don't have good raw material, it's difficult for you to get the good final products. Rubbish in, rubbish out. So we will hand pick the prospective suppliers. All the prospective suppliers should go through the scrutiny and review and a random sample and auditing, etc., etc. We have one veto system. For instance, for infant formula, we have one ingredient. We call it the dehydrated carrot. For the dehydrated the carrot, we are, talk, we, are, we are not only talking to the suppliers, rather we are talking, we are paying, paying visit to the to the lot, to the farm, for the farming of the carrot, whether there is a certain pollution or whether there is a contamination to this uh, land. So we moved even f forward. In the production and processing, we should have a good in-process control. You should not rely on the final inspection to check the quality issue. One step by step, you should have the quality is made, rather it's not tested. 
unchecked. So pro in process control is important. We have a lot of uh, statistics tools. Uh, statistical process control, SPC, transforms data into actionable information for consistency, compliance, and the continuous improvement of our products. We encourage those tools application uh, for statistics. For the production of DRA products, for instance, for we have this uh, this is Shuangcheng in the, the Heilongjiang province. This is our the uh, factory in Shuangcheng. We have our the 100 staff. For each and every batch, there will be pre ex works uh, analysis. On the one hand, it's a uh, regulation from the government. Rather. It's a, not a matter of option for us, confronted with a stringent market situation. So you must make sure that the X factory, X works products will be 100% safe. So that's the integrated quality system in dairy manufacturing. Then I would like to highlight the, the early warning platform and the function of this platform in our dairy quality and safety management. On a daily basis, we have a lot of cases for the food manufacturers. We have a lot of risks coming from external areas. In retrospect, since 2008 and uh, last year, we have the so-called food safety issues and dairy food safety issues for melamine. For melamine. Then, okay. melamine, and what the, the leather protein, about the hormones, the aflatoxin, uh, toxin, MI, the illegal industry, gelatin, and also we have the DCD. Those are the scandals and the events. There's something in common among those events. Which, what is it? They are all coming from your upper supply chain vendors. We don't have anything new. We didn't expect the cropping up of those questions because it's unprecedented. As a food manufacturer, we should be preemptive. We should nip in the bud. And for they have different reasons. And you have to do a good job for control. You will be talking about emerging issues or potential issues. So we should do the early warning system to do the better control for the emerging issues. The local Chinese competitors, if you have an interest in media report in northeast part of China, in Heilongjiang province, it's a rainy season, a rainy year, a country report because of the excessive rain. For green, there's a lot of corn for a lot of for the diseases. The farmers put the insecticides, and the local governments even sent the helicopters to spray the insecticides. What can we see, read from between the lines? The farmers put in excessive pesticides, insecticides for the corn. You have a higher hazard of those pesticides, corn residues. And some of the stocks for those corn used to be the feeding stuff for, for the cows. With this uh, higher hazard of a pesticide residue, the stock will be a question mark. So you should have a dynamic monitoring to the dairy, to this very product. So you can see the whole ecosystem. So to pinpoint the issue earlier there rather than later. This is one of the philosophy from Nestle. Okay. For the early warning principles, everything comes from the quantitative to, the, to quality to quantitative to qualitative change. For the dam, it, not, it doesn't collapse overnight. Rather, it comes from the years of erosion and weathering. So we should be sensitive to those potential hazards. So we should 
nip in the bud so that it will not evolve into crisis later on. So for the earlier period, it's easy for us to curb it and eliminate it. We should have the capability for identification first, identification, then understanding. We should have a clear-cut understanding of the issue in question. We should know how to evaluate the risk. And also, we need to communicate the risks with the others. During this phase, with certain decisions, probably we can really nip in the bud. I will be under control. Of course, that's an ideal scenario. For Nestle, early warning is about checking potential issues, hypermarkets, preventing and solving issues, and to support in crisis situations. We have the everything, every link will be connected together. Some are directly related to the safety, while well, some are tangible, some are others are perceivable for our early warning system. What are the functions here? From the early warning, we can pay attention to the public perception and the changes on legislation. We should be exposed to higher level of heavy metals possibility. By doing so, we can have the quality intelligence and all we can know what's our target. For instance, alter adulteration is, is the perennial risk. You can see the horse meat gate in European countries. The, all the melamine is long past, and, uh, and we see the report. We can see the barbecue, the mutton. The barbecue mutton is not mutton, rather it's from the rice. Or maybe you know, maybe the beef is not beef, rather it's the fox meat, etc., etc. That's the report of China last year. So with the uh, exposure to those information and risk, you should know what are the countermeasures in mind. And, uh, and also in China, GAQSIQ uh, is talking about the uh, possibility of legislation to that. Whether there is risk of kind of uh, the temporary or doping, etc., etc. So for our internally, early warning network, we have the three sources. We put into a place our system. With this system, we should be targeting at the raw materials and the contaminants, and also the risk management. You do a good job, but there's still possibility for the emergencies. So we should have the plan B or countermeasures for emergency. We have three sources for the identification of new potential issues. People, network, and the data. We have the, we we'll call it early warning network. Globally, uh, from a headquarter in Rosé uh, for Switzerland, we we'll have the team there dedicated exclusively to the possibility of those early warning signals. And those signals and the information will be shared among different branches worldwide. And also we have the 170 people for the web scouting work. So we have this team, these are 170 people dedicated to that task. And we will be collecting information for the nutrition system, for the packaging, for the micro, for the bio, etc. We have everything. And also we have the collection of data from external sources for UC and other science, and also the state lab, etc. And also trade unions will collect uh, the over the cross the board information. And also we have the internet, the scouting, we call it Digimind, Digimind with the sensitive word, where a special tool is used to follow the seeds of our information to pinpoint the potential risks. This is our, the Digimind is our in-house developed software. With this information, we can have the data mining and the trend analysis. You can see melamine here, and also the outbreak, the small peaks. All the peaks are with certain reasons, and also the uh, double FNA. Okay.
and also we have the data analysis, trend analysis. Food work is not easy because there are a lot of unknowns. For instance, for, for a corn, as simple as a corn, what are the possible risks? It's beyond for toxin, contaminants in heavy metals, micro, etc., etc. More than you can you can count. Just like a, a kind of corn ear. What kind of categories? How to gauge? How to measure? We need a database, a repository, and an information platform. We put into place our internal information platform. Globally, all the lab data will be submitted to this uh, big data. We have millions of data. Uh, cocoa powder was the risk, and uh, corn, wheat, and rice was uh, likely contaminant, easily to get uh, beyond control. For example, the rice, uh, the cadmium contaminated rice due to the water and the soil contamination. Uh, so this is a major risk in China. So through this database, it's, uh, it helps us to set up, a, set up dynamic risk monitor and find the focus and also the pesticide residue. The new national standard, uh, GB standard, uh, specified uh, hundreds of uh, pesticide residue and so to a different uh, topics, uh, experts, how the experts uh, explain it, interpret it, and uh, uh, this is a very important uh, information platform. And lastly, I'd like to share, simply share with you in China, uh, what's our risk alert system. We have uh, one person responsible for, it's called, uh, uh, it's a team, a panel covering the manufacture side R&D center and the central lab, uh, agriculture and the legal departments. And uh, they are going to meet regularly to gather, collect and evaluate uh, every valuable information. What's the impact of our company? Uh, it's going might, might be a potential risk and uh, draft uh, the action plan correspondingly for the uh, sensitive and the critical issue, they will, they will inform the management after gathering this information through the relation connection with the government, with our network and uh, uh, universities and the suppliers. We have a broad network. This platform we have has been established for several years since uh, 2009, and we established since the Menaming issue. In the uh, event incident and at uh, uh, the, the beginning is the exploration. We slowly build up this mechanism and upgrade our capacity uh, risk alert, including information source, how to report the management, uh, report to management this valuable information. And uh, next step, currently we are going to increase the platform efficiency, the efficacy, and uh, communication. Mr. Chen mentioned, uh, Professor, the risk communication is uh, very weak. So I, I hope to communicate more with the authority, with the industry, with the public for the potential food safety risk. This is the last slide. A simple summary, a takeaway, and uh, wrap up. We feel early alert on potential risk is very important for dairy quality and safety management. Expect, expect more and more food companies to attend the risk communication activities, participate in the risk communication. We often say it's like uh, you, have a, you have a fire at the gate and it's going to jeopardize the fish in the pond near the gate. Uh, so everybody is interconnected and uh, we need more communication. And uh, lastly, food safety needs a joint control along whole food supply chain, including the upstream and downstream sub upstream suppliers and downstream processors. Joint work to ensure food safety. Thank you very much. This is my presentation.
非常感谢。The best practices. I, I, I can understand now, you know, why Nestle is one of the world leader in the food industry. So what you said is is really important. More risk are from external. Is that true? Uh, and what I want to say, our supply chain is as strong as its weakest link. 它的最弱的一个环节一样的强大，所以说最弱的环节决定了我们整个的供应链的强大程度。呃，食品安全和治理质量应该一直一步一步的管理，从呃农场到餐桌，这是很明显的。非常感谢您分享那个呃雀巢的最佳做法，一件很事情很重要的时间，时间是很重要的，呃，参与也是很重要的，所以。先期早期预警，应该你应该习惯于获得的，也要期待的一些。当然，某些事情会出现，会发生的。非常感谢分享这些最佳的做法。有任何人有任何问题吗？呃，雀巢是在在讲台上面，他是食品行业的老大，第一名。我们在彼此在竞争，呃，雀巢是在某多产品的门类里边是第一，但是达能在其中的有些门类也是第一的，在产品的，呃，在婴儿食品，你们是第一，我们是第二，但是但是其他的一些产品，我们是那第一，我他们是第二，这个并不是一场争斗，我们可以一起解决很多的食品安全的问题，我们当然最后仍然是竞争对手。有问题，这里有一个问题。呃，我想问一个问题啊，因为今天下午听了很很多这个食品企业来问这个关于这个整个去保障，怎怎样去保障食品安全这个问题的这个话题，很多的 food safety。大家都在谈这个问题。Issue and how to establish a cross board cross supply chain management system, but there is no detail. We only had the concept, but I really want to hear here. How do you do it specifically? How do you implement? Can you take some offer some detailed case to share? Some case to share with us. How do you man review qualification of the supplier, the raw material ingredient control, and the manufacture process safety guarantee? And how to do it?、Uh, what I really want to hear is、uh, several speakers, several enterprise companies mentioned about.、Uh, Some concept to help you how to work toward it, and any specific case to share to talk in case of any problem, how to control, like a, even so, it's like a crisis management, crisis、uh, communication, and、uh, another question is.、Uh, I I forgot it. I ask you answer your first question. It's very hard to answer. How to do it? There are many platforms. For example, Eve、uh, talk about the GFSI, the Global Food Safety Initia Initiative. This is a platform. Through this platform, we gather the upstream suppliers, the manufacturer, processors, the information. And、uh, and the downstream processor、uh, gather them together, and、uh, the review for the upstream、uh, raw materials.、Uh, there are many systems.、Uh, today, today Danone and tomorrow Nestle comes. Many suppliers have this trouble. So we by building this、uh, system, you certify the uh, one uh, at somewhere, and、uh, you are certified everywhere. So. This is certification. Another is、uh, training. I forgot. Uh, uh, China has、uh, 440 food processors. 70 percent, 70 percent of them are less than 10 employees, and、uh, so they they don't know how. They just、uh, they want to do it better, but they don't know how to. We want to、uh, implement, step up the training for them, for these small household processors and.、Uh, In order to get out, of, get them out of trouble. So these two examples means we are actioning to、uh, make the closer co co cooperation with upstream and、uh, about the downstream. With GFSI, we have、uh, Walmart, uh, Carrefour, Carrefour, and uh, uh, retailers. Through this communication platform, we are also discussing 
to make our partnership closer. For example, the product traceability, how to align our product manufacturer with the traceability of the downstream retailer and uh, to identify the problem. Uh, this is a uh, uh, excellent question, but we need a different platform. I have seen a uh, lot of uh, many, meaningful actions, for example, GFSI platform. I don't know whether I, uh, it answers your question. Uh, my second question, through some, I discussed with some classmates and uh, friends with uh, some companies, a good, uh, uh, for example, beverage, uh, Manufacture product production line. They have a sterilized, uh, costing 100, 100 million RMB, automatic and uh, talking about the strict uh, implementation, the complete, uh, elaborate operating system. There shouldn't be any problem, but the problem is often the employee in the manufacture process. How to say it? For their convenience, their own convenience, they are going to omit, skip something, some steps. In that case, in the manufacturer, in with the manufacturers, how to, for the detailed operation, for the operator, the management and the control on the operator, do we have a good way, good model? We need to address the the issue of people before the issue of safety. Uh, sometimes uh, the Chinese are very flexible and uh, right, uh, like to cut it short. And uh, uh, Westerners uh, uh, sometimes uh, follow the, many times they follow the rules and uh, uh, rigid and strict uh, compliance. Uh, so, so, so especially with some, some smaller suppliers, uh, very flexible and uh, didn't uh, uh, has no principle. So first time and second time, no problem. But third time, big problem. How to insist, adhere to the system, to the rules uh, and uh, implementation. We have uh, too many companies uh, with excellent ISO hazard and uh, taking dust in the drawer and didn't it, it was not implemented. So how to align what we are talking about and what we are doing. And uh, if we can make that, these companies would have long, or good prospect. This is a short-term and long-term balance. So I don't know how to ex uh, to comply with the compliance with the rules, and do not uh, cut it short. You are going to see the difference. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you. And see you in August, you know, for the GFSI focus there, right?